This is Christos with Think Future. So many of you have heard, or you've heard it from many different sources, that there's this thing called the 10,000 hour rule. And the 10,000 hour rule in its simplest form is that if you want to be successful at anything, at anything at all, all you have to do is practice it for 10,000 hours. And they give examples of tennis players and basketball players and chess players and all these other people who are highly skilled at doing whatever they're doing. And they say that, you know, once you get to 10,000 hours, I think it was Yo-Yo Ma with the violinist that was where this first came from. Once you get to 10,000 hours of playing violin or playing the piano or playing tennis or playing chess or playing basketball, you can become an expert. You can become a genius. It just requires hard work. It just requires you to put in the 10,000 hours. But what they don't tell you is that those specific things that they mentioned, that doesn't apply to everybody. It applies to things that have a specific set of rules and boundaries, right? If you think about it, tennis, chess, basketball, playing the violin, playing the piano, playing all these things, all of these things have specific rules and worlds that they play in. They're not totally unpredictable. They're not crazy. They're not black swans. Everybody knows a tennis court's a tennis court. And there's certain things that you're allowed to do. And there's certain things that you are not allowed to do. And in these spaces, in these places, maybe doing the 10,000 hours of practice to get really good at this thing might work great. But once you step outside of that, once you go into the real world, once you go into the business world, once you go into the world of innovation where anything can happen, there's no rules. The rules are gone. I mean, there are certain sets of rules, obviously. There's, there's the law and what's allowed inside the law and what's outside outside of the law. But it's much bigger than that. It's much, much bigger than that. And if you think about it, Entrepreneurs could be successful in way less than 10,000 hours, and entrepreneurs can be completely unsuccessful in way more than 10,000 hours. So the reality is that it really depends on the area you're talking about. If you want to be an awesome basketball player, then yes, practice for 10,000 hours. But if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you know, that's not nothing, not anything that's necessarily going to take you 10,000 hours to perfect. You just have to be in the right place at the right time with the right product to the right customer and you will win. And that's where innovation comes from.